push there. I still have no defenses there, obviously, but again, the Soviets find themselves in pretty dire straits. Second Chuck Army has minus 30%, despite the apparent numerous supplies in here. These guys can now no longer attack, which means that they... First hold here once again, 240 against 504. Another hold. I don't really mind the Soviet losses that much. I'd much rather look at my own losses there. Always tricky. This time they're attacking up here. Another hold. Good. 10 to 1 losses. This is gonna hurt. 40 tanks lost. Surprised they're still attacking there. Might be there too. Yeah, that was not gonna be a hold, but now it's gonna be hard for them to get across. Ah, shit. Ah, crap. They cut across again either way. Another attack. Another hold. 92 against 1200. Seems like they're blushed out for some part in Stalingrad area. Again, getting these units across does make them tire out a bit means they have less opportunity attack they're currently at zero don't like that but their attack seems to be relatively weak with only a 99 also showing in the losses there against viking division holy shit that's a lot of units 32,000. It's good that they have both 3rd Panzer and 1st Romanian there. Holding marginally well, keeping my 1. That's a lot of fresh fresh troops that they suddenly have there. But it seems like the Stalingrad area did hold again this time. So once again I'm keeping my 30 points. I just really like <laughs> trying to hold it. I'm, I'm not even like. Realistically, I I have like almost zero chance to uh, to actually win. So those points ultimately don't, don't necessarily mean all that much because I'm gonna lose them anyway. But I just you know like trying to fight for it, you know. Kind of like reenact as if the Germans would throw everything they've got at it. That's a serious attack there too. Seems like the Panzers jumped in. Giving the Soviets a run for their money here. But we still lost on the die roll. Luckily the Soviets did too. Many of my positions here look relatively weak still, and I'm not super pleased at it. <clears throat> but this is in Torzok itself. The something that happened in oh, that's not Torzok, it's south of Torzok. Never mind. One thing that happened is that the Soviets really, really, really pushed for Turzhok in a previous playthrough, constantly hammering it. And I kind of expected them to potentially do the same here, and Turzhok is a fortress, so they'll just, you know, lose units left and right. That's basically what I was getting at, or hoping for, but they don't seem to be really pushing it this time. Which is a shame. 
Well, it's a breakout south to Rezhev. It's interesting because for them to try and attack, they're just so weak. Like On the defense, they did pretty well. It seems like one of their divisions tried to get out. I'll have to route these guys first, or try to do that, and then this, because now they at least might retreat up. Uh, this is interesting, though, that they tried another attack. I see I was much weakened there after that first initial wave, but they seem to have given up most of their strength in that position there now. Oh, crud. He must have lost a role. That doesn't seem to be a very good general either, as I have never heard of this guy. Shit. E. Virov. I will have to go and take a look. That's the 10th Corps. Because if that guy's garbage, he's gonna need to get replaced there. I need strong infantry generals, at least the 7, also around this area. Really, I mean, I know that these guys are pretty weak. They're going to have to be pulled off the line, and I need 4th Panzer back in there. <clears throat> also, I like swearing. <laughs> <It's just laughs> uh, what can I say? I'm the swearing kind of person. <laughs> Yeah, uh, good, good. Uh, grew up in a bad neighborhood. Let's just <laughs> put it like that. Ah, no. This is the beginning of the end. If they're going to go down to level 2 fort, they're, they're not going to hold that for long. They, they need to get out of there. And this is exactly what I was talking about with giving the Russians leeway. Like, once you start doing that, things are going to go downhill. Like here, for example. If they, they're going to put those four in there. It's like, shit. <laughs> okay, I don't know even how they push those guys through it. it. It just almost seems as if they just decided to build a unit on that hex simply because they they took it or whatever or could somehow. I don't know. It, it's just very weird to me. We'll see. Maybe some of these guys will retreat. Uh, good save by the Hungarians there. Nice. I'll move back one more hex next turn, for sure. Uh, I want to definitely try and retreat in an orderly fashion around that area. Triple stacking those Italians certainly also does seem to pay off here. As you can clearly see, they actually have a pretty good number here for this turn. Triple stacked, and uh, they held it mildly. They can, they can do their work, if you will allow them to. It's not much, but they uh, they did what they were supposed to do, and they're still at 27 on the defense. So that's actually looking pretty well. I'm I'm, I'm happy with that. This is not not gonna work. It's interesting though that they attacked again with a very significant force there. There must be a core in there. Okay, here I'm actually very happy that these guys came in as a reserve um not saying that they would not have been able to hold but this is a 13 on defense so i'm actually pleased and we can also see in the soviet losses there that they they've suffered quite a bit for it there seems like they decided to go about it but then not attack or they can weird but we held there good there's also a german infantry division in there so okay Fair enough. Seems like this is probably about it then, too, for now. And we'll be looking at... Oh. Yeah. Oh, wow. Well, oh, that's 32,000. Seems like they're pushing out significantly there, too. I've been trying to cut them off. I, it seems like I can do that on the next turn. And I have some Romanians there that can also push back. And then once they're encircled, indeed, now they're going to be in trouble. I'll just pull back with these guys, too, further up north. To uh, Like, I'm not going to pursue any of these bases down here. It doesn't really seem like I'll be able to do anything there. 
It just really depends on how they are going to create their front line here, for example. Uh, I'll just really have to see. Like, this is still such a big mess. Soviet superiority in terms of numbers and, yeah. Them breaking through from this side makes me not even able to clear out the units that are up here potentially, although I'd, I'd really like that. Just kind of as I'm retreating, I'm just kind of clearing up a few of the Soviets. Every little division that I can take out will help in delay Soviet advance ultimately. And I'd rather retreat and uh, make surrender Soviet units than just hold my ground for the most part. Since that, since holding your ground in the long run seems to be a worse deal than killing Soviet soldiers and negating their ability to attack. And I guess we'll have to wait here. Um, since this is probably going to take a long time, if it didn't get stuck, which it did happen once before. Uh, okay, it's not stuck. It's still moving. Uh, I'll just meet you back at the other side for the Germans because uh, this this might take a while. So, All right, back. And uh, seems like we got a little point there for the shortage of Soviet forces in the Northern Front, a garrison shortage in the Transcaucasus, but also a shortage of forces in Western Europe on our part. Huh. We get 22,303 more forces on the map, 14 guns, 27 more tanks, and four more planes. We lost 23,000 men, 103 tanks, around 400 guns as well. Let's quickly take over a look at the losses for a sec, because that's always fun. Um, and par loss for the Soviets, last two turns were 272,000, and the turn before that 250,000 making the Soviet amounts of total men since December drop by almost half a million, whereas ours has risen by about 100,000 men. So there's now a discrepancy of 600,000 men on the front since the start of the game. Question is, will it be enough on time? Well... They certainly seem to be focusing on Stalingrad more and more, but this held, interestingly enough, and this too. Hmm. What did they do up here? It's also interesting. Nothing much. Might be able to push into this hex. We'll surround these. This might be an opening to push up, try to get some units here, threaten Moscow. Certainly don't like this or this either, but they didn't even try to go for Vornish this time. Hmm. 
Another thing that might be possible is encircle these. It would certainly be challenging. Uh, interestingly, they've also closed on the list there, so they must have another unit in there. Units in here will be isolated at least, so I can try to round them up as I, you know, pull back along this area. One other thing that might work is cut their rail line. They'll have to get their supplies from ports, which I guess for the Soviets would be fine, but. Yeah. Um, given the amount of time that I was working on this already, I'm already busy for almost an hour. I might just as well cut this into two parts here. So let's just get started. I once again feel like I don't have to do anything in terms of planes. Did I even activate these? Now they're at rest. I'll put them to day only. I'm also very curious about this area. Like, almost as if they don't have anything there anymore. Almost. I guess for this turn, I'll just try to do the easy part. Um, besides, you know, clearing out some stuff from the pockets, things like that. We'll reorganize hang here and there, and just to wrap things up. It seemed to be most fair, I think. Yeah. All right. Let's uh, start with the theater boxes. So we'll have taken care of that. Western Europe now 110, which is mostly because the Reich, Leibstandard, and Totenkopf have arrived there. Um, that means that I'm actually more than 40 over the limit and these guys are going to go to the map on turn 8 which is next turn. They represent a good 30 in terms of combat value at the moment. Mm, and since I am close to 50 already, the only thing I will send is I will send the 510th Mixed Artillery Battalion over to the map. I did want to go and take a look at the air in day. So this did increase from 79 to 83. So if I have more flak that I can send, I will, I will send it to Western Europe, basically, to, in order to try and get that air day to 100 as well. Um, instead of anything else. Now, we also got the uh, the SS Panzer Corps here and their Pauhauser. He's okay. Um, which I guess then will also go to the map. Um, probably not with any other units, but generally we'll, we'll see here. I'll leave the Sturm Brigade, uh, Brigades over there too. All right, that's Western Europe. As for the Soviet Union garrison, we are now at 100 Two. That means that the unit has not arrived yet. Probably takes two turns. If we take a look here, um, Stuck Battalion, uh, Purpose Battalion. Oh, this is from nowhere. So they all come either into the Axis Reserves or they're new, things like that. Like they would arrive from the reserves. I swear that it doesn't say where they arrive from. Um, because the Hungarian Security Division did arrive in the Soviet Union garrison. But then the Soviet Union garrison is at 102. How much did they offer? 152? Okay, never mind. 217, and the German one is 742, eh? <laughs> Interesting that they have so much for a security division. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well. They don't have it for all the security divisions, but for quite a few. I guess it's because most of them tended to be a, a regular infantry division before, but then they probably had 
a lot of losses or something else. And they had to be turned into a security unit. Yeah. All right, so Norway, it cannot do anything there. Finland, we're still at 102. That was the garrison. Africa, 131 there. Still, I cannot take out anything. Italy is at 71, but it will take a while before troops get there. And then Balkans is now 104. I have five potentially to take out, which is not enough for the 3 and 34th Infantry Division, I think. Let's see, because it's 5.2. Well, yeah, you know what? Let's just transfer them to now. Let's just see. Yeah, it's 99 immediately, so it was actually a bit more. That's sad, but I'm going to send that Luftwaffe Field Division there. Oh, he's already there. Okay. That means I'm gonna need to send something else there. I guess this middle cavalry regiment can probably go there. I'll put it on refit and then transfer it to the Balkans. And uh, I know it's supposed to be an armor group center. That's why it's called the middle cavalry regiment, but you know, <laughs> I need it somewhere else. So, Kenf detachment cannot move now, but um, it's also an army with Werner Kempf. He's pretty decent, actually. Good mech, good infantry, decent admin. So it'll be nice to have a couple more uh, HQs out there because I'll also... If it will take a while before Fifth Army is there. Never mind that. Uh, let's take off those historical dates. And, uh, just keep them there. Hmm. Seems to be no way for the 205th to go out and attack. In fact, I thought that... Eh, never mind. I have to take a very close look as to how to deal with everything. Uh, I think these should be enough. No. Great, another retreat. That's exactly what I wanted. Hmm. No, ah, shit. I thought I attacked with both of them. Come on. Oh, they cannot at five. Ah, oh, God, really? So I've <sighs> enemies read it on the first attack, and now they're just stuck there. These guys are in such a deplorable state that uh, I'll only just 
move a hex with them. Let's just uh, get you in there and now uh, let's get the cavalry over up in here. You in there so I can do a double attack on the next turn because I cannot attack this turn at all. For sure. But let's just move in here because it also allows me to see in those different locations. I don't think I'll be able to attack any further there. There we go. Okay, that's the bulk of it. And I can do one follow-up attack. Um, yeah, it's fine. If I just overwhelm them, they'll just surrender. Indeed, they did. These guys are now weak. But at least I've cleared those troops. Um, if we look at the Soviet numbers on the map... They are 5.427. So. That's still quite a lot. But I guess maybe they've. I mean, it seems like they also got forces from the Transcaucasus and other places. They seemingly don't care about not having enough points there. Which I think is a little bit weird. But uh, I mean, we can't really do anything about that. Uh, let's see. Let's try to oust these. Sweet. I can join that unit together. And do I have any other things to deal with. I'll leave Stalingrad well alone for the moment. But let's start out with the Arab Special Purpose Battalion. And the 302nd Infantry Division. Both going down. I'll very likely send the 304th Infantry Division over up into this area. We'll see. It seems like they. What the heck? They abandoned the. In well, not everything. But they've abandoned most of the cheer region as it is, at least allowing me to take over some of that. Yeah, the battle for Stalingrad is not yet done, not by a long stretch. I also had the first SS motorized brigade, and I actually now this is a bit weird, but I'll actually send it over into the north. Um, no, no, I'll send it actually over to Rostov for now. 
And the next turn I can probably let it loose in somewhere around that area. Somewhere here. We'll certainly encircle this here unit near at least that too. Ah, okay. Interesting. They have a bunch of units here. Um, which means that most certainly even <laughs> fortifications means that I'll have to pull back out of that area after clearing these guys out or I'm going to get smashed. So this is more of a mobile defense anyway, just trying to make sure that the Soviets don't get to that rail line. That is the, the most important thing. This rail line from Salsk up north is the only thing that's keeping the Soviets away from Stalingrad or is the only lifeline towards Stalingrad. It's this depot. Um, all of these are all empty and we can, I mean, they still have decent supplies there. But just in general, everything there is god awful. And this doesn't look too fancy either, so. They've abandoned all of this though, so I'm, I'm actually loath or inclined to just retake these hexes. With this unit. It means that they will most likely not attack in this position, so it's relatively secure for the moment. This, of course, is an entirely different matter. Hmm. Clearing this is taking far longer than I'd ever imagined. Hmm. Oh, take the hex. Here too, if I can just move into Nelidovo, that just takes away one of their airfields. Um... I'm taking the airfields is pretty important. They have one more airfield at Andreapol, at Pino, and yeah, we'll, we'll just see. Um, anyway, I want to thank everybody for watching. Trapped. Another four divisions. Good. Yeah. Thanks for watching, everyone. Take care. See you next time. Bye-bye.